We're now going to have a go at creating an electrical plan for our house. So to do this, we are first of all going to create a, another floor plan and call it an electrical one. So I'm going to right click on the floor plan in the project browser, duplicate the view. OK. And I can uh, just ignore that pop up for a minute. OK, so I've duplicated the view and oops, there's one left from before. Get rid of that. OK, there are a few things now on this view which I do not really want here. For example, you may have furniture. So I'm not going to delete the furniture. I'm going to use the pair of glasses at the bottom of the screen and say hide category. And notice how the dining table disappeared at the same time. This rug I created, though, I did that as a, an extra family. So for that one, to avoid anything disappearing I might want to keep, I'm just going to say hide element so it only hides that one object. OK. Next, I'm going to change the discipline from architectural to electrical. OK, notice how the walls have now faded. But notice how some items have not faded. So I'm just going to highlight those, hold down control key and do a multi select, right click override graphics in view by element and then click the half tone box by there and just say OK and notice how they now have become half tone. Right, oh, there's one I'd left earlier, I'll get rid of that for now. All right, so what we have here now is a blank view as it were ready to start doing things with. I'm going to also check the view range of the view. And at the moment, it is set to that and that. I'm going to change that to a zero and change it to the level above. All right, just to give us a bit of extra view. What do we want to do now? OK, a few things. First of all, check your ceiling plan. All right. So you can do that in the project browser by there. We do want to create ceilings. So we can use the ceiling command, create the type of ceiling you want, and then you can move the cursor to each individual space. OK, now just bear in mind where if you've got a staircase, you will have to edit around the staircase. All right, so you don't put a ceiling going over the stairs. So I've already done mine for that. So I'm just going to move on now. Um, oh, one thing I haven't done is the ground floor copy one, right click on it and rename it. And I'm just going to change that to electrical. So we can quite clearly see that's our electrical drawing. We're now going to click the Systems tab. We've got Equipment and Devices. We'll do an Equipment first. So click on that. Notice these different options. OK, Vertical Face I want first of all. Load Family. And if you go into the, just show you the Electrical folder in your library, and Architectural Power distribution, you can load in your distribution boards. OK, I've already loaded one in. You now have where you're putting it height wise. I don't want it 1200. I'll make it, um, I'll make it a bit taller than that, actually 1800. And I'm going to zoom in down here and I've put it in the wall by there, but I'm then going to space bar it and have it by there. So there's our distribution box out the way. Next, devices. And again, load family. OK, so this time you want to go into the terminals folder rather than distribution and pick whichever sockets, OK, and switches you want and just load them in. I've already loaded quite a few in, so I'm just going to use ones I already have. All right, and then we should have them in here. So we've got double sockets by there. 
So let's put some of those. Elevation from the floor. Well, I don't really want it at 257 off the floor. I'm going to make them 600 off the floor. And just drop them in as I go around. And then I'm going to change that to 1,200 for the ones that are above the kitchen units. OK, any other little items um, like a cooker point there? OK, so I'll just put a cooker point over by here. All right, then I'm going to move on to some light switches. So these are going to be um, switch pulls, single with a pole. So single pull. OK, and let's put one of those on by here. And I'll put another one by there. And then maybe what I'll do is do a different type of one. And you can get ones, obviously, which are doubles and singles. OK, and I'll just find one. Here we go. Um, I don't want a dimmer switch one, um, a double pole. There we go. Uh, let's come back to single pole on there. So just try and find the double pole. There it is. OK. And I'm going to use that one to do that to there. And I'll do the same by here. And then swap back to a single. And I'll put this one by here for the toilet. All right, then. And we could do with one just by here as well for the little cupboard. And maybe we'll have a light in the cupboard. All right, now. So there's our switches. All right. What we're going to do now, though, is go to the ceiling plan. And this is where we'll insert the actual lights themselves. So we can do this. Um, architectural component, place a component and load family. Now we have to go out of where we were because these are not in the electrical folder, but they're in the lighting folder. And then again, architectural, and we want the internal ones. And as you can see, there's a nice wide range. Pick whichever ones you want and load them in. So what we're going to have a little look at here is some options. Um, LED down lights go on. We'll have some of those. OK. Are oh, these ones? Oh, yeah, elevation. That's not much good, is it? Two, three, six, oh. Right, now, we'll see here it's on place vertical face. We're going to have to change that to place on face. And now, look, we can put it on the ceiling because it was trying to put it on a wall, which wasn't that helpful. So in the kitchen, I'm going to have four of these. I want to try and line them up as I do. And there we go. And we could always just check if you're happy with the positions of them as well. Um, maybe. Move them around a little bit if you wish. There we go. So you can use those blue dots. Yep, I'll just oops, change that to one, two, three, 
1000. And I'll do the same for this one here. See, so I'll grab the blue dot from this side over here. Zoom out. And I'll just grab it and drag it over there. And I'll change that to 1000. Okay, and then these, I'll do the same there. Oops. Okay. So there's some down lights. Let's um, put some more lighting in. Right. Yeah, I got quite a few loaded in here. Uh, a bit too many, really. It makes it a bit more confusing if you load too many. All right. Um, there we go, some pendants. Let's do a, a pendant coming down in the here. And then let's have a little look. I think I've got a fan one somewhere, which I could put into the lounge. There we go. And I will put that over there. And again, let's just put some other Like I said, don't load them all in like I did. Um, that ends up just being a bit confusing and you can't find the ones you want. And I'll tell you what, I'll just copy one of these. I'll use the copy command, there we go, and just copy that down to there put one of those in there okay so there's your lights for downstairs so now let's go back to the ground floor electrical plan and you can see now that these lights actually do show up on this plan now maybe you would want some cable runs included if we would like cable runs we could do some model lines and we'll use the curves okay just to Well, rather than doing model lines because they show up as green, I think I'm going to go to the annotate tab and do a detail line. Okay, that's and again make it curved. And then we can just Just repeat this until you are happy with all the ones you've done, really. Oh, that one, I will change that one. I don't want a straight line. There we go. So that shows you sockets, light switches, lighting, and there's your guide to creating an electrical layout. And you can just repeat that then for the other floor. 
So thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe.